Good morning, Mets fans, and welcome to a Thursday edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and the Mets have reached a new low in 2017, traveling down to the depths of 12 games under 500. Yes, yes, the Mets lost again to the Yankees uh, in yet another competitive game, uh, but uh, you know, you just sort of get the feeling watching these games that the Mets don't have a shot. Um, the one thing I'll say about the Yankees is that they have a bullpen that uh, that would make pretty much any M uh, MLB team very jealous. Uh, they have a very, very good bullpen, uh, the Yankees do. And frankly, that's why baseball, uh, that's how baseball, rather, is shifting. And it's how most teams are going to have to start building going forward. So last night was a bizarre game, um, which featured Travis Darno making his infield debut, bouncing between second base and third base with Esdrubal Cabrera because both Wilmer Flores and Jose Reyes were late scratches. Uh, I imagine one of them will end up, um, uh, hopefully, be able to play tonight <laughs> in the uh, final game of this four-game set with the Yankees. Um, if they can't, I, I hope that they call somebody up from AAA because you can't you can't do this. Um, the the situation was crazy last night with these two guys bouncing back and forth, and with having such a short bench at the end of the game where you couldn't really pinch hit without you know basically um, forcing the opposing pitcher to walk your pinch hitter, which would have been Curtis Granderson to get to your pitcher because you have no bench guys left. So it's just crazy. So um, hopefully those guys are okay and. Uh, you know, Reyes and Flores are okay, and they can play tonight. Um, I don't know that it really matters. Um, as far as last night was concerned, um, the uh, the game was the game was sorry. Uh, the game was you know it was passable. Robert Zellman pitched okay, um, pitched well enough to deserve a win. Um, frankly, all three guys who started in the series did pitch well enough to deserve a win. So it did happen. It is what it is. Final game tonight, Steven Matt's on the mound. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to expect. I uh, I have very, very, very little hope for Matt's having a strong start, but we'll see. Um, Rafael Montero surprised me, so why can't Steven Matt's? Uh, I want to go back to the comment I made about bullpens. You know, looking at the Yankees' bullpen and how they've built it, and they've built such a, a powerhouse bullpen with some strong arms, um, I, I, I think this is the new wave of MLB um, roster management and roster construction. Uh, the Mets have their starting pitching, and that's great, whatever. Um, but where has it gotten them? I mean, they made one World Series bid. They had, had the World Series bid the other year, uh, in 2015. They made the playoffs last year. They're having an abysmal year this year. Now, granted, all of the guys are hurt. Um, but still, the starting pitching... Um, the starting pitching debate, if you will, um, I don't know that I don't know that it's going to be as important anymore as the bullpen. Uh, you can assemble if you can assemble a, a powerhouse lockdown bullpen, you're you're going to win more games than you're going to lose. Period. Because starting pitching just doesn't go deep into games anymore, and I think we're going to start seeing a shift in baseball away from assembling dynamite starting rotations and just assembling a bunch of guys who can go five innings and give up. You know, five, six innings, give up four runs, have that 3.5 ERA, and you know that's going to be the future. Um, and the, the power arms, at least in my opinion, are going to end up in the bullpen, and we're going to see guys like Andrew Miller uh, types who come out into any inning they need to come out into, uh, can give you two innings or three innings, multiple days a week, and I, I think that's going to be a, a, a major shift in baseball and the way baseball is played. It's happening already. I mean, starters aren't going deep into games. The difference is, is that uh, teams haven't adapted yet and haven't built that, those bullpens to sort of fill out the rest of the game. Uh, it's going to have to happen, though, um, unless unless there's some sort of a drastic shift and starters can actually start going deep into games, which I don't see happening anytime soon. Um, you know, I think we're going to see, see major league teams assembling bullpens that resemble these powerhouse bullpens that you see every now and again in baseball today. Uh, the Mets, for their part, are doing that. Um, they are assembling. Now, I'm not saying these guys are, are absolute lights out or whatever, but they are assembling a, a massive quantity of 
bullpen arms in in the low in the minor leagues. That's what they made the majority of their trades for. Um, that's what they got back rather in all the majority of their trades this year. So the, the Mets are, I think, are recognizing the shift and the need to, to have that bullpen and uh, almost put the bullpen first as far as building your team ahead of the rotation. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, it'll be interesting to watch for sure. Um, but uh, that's my opinion. So um, that's going to wrap it up for today. Again, Stephen Matt's on the hill tonight. Whatever. <laughs> Hopefully the Mets can avoid a fourth consecutive loss and a dip down to 13 under. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, you can uh, check me out on Twitter if you're not already following me at Mr. Underscore Met. And as always, let's go Mets.